Her name was OU. And she was beautiful. She had two hands with ten fingers, two feet with ten toes, her eyes as brown as autumn leaves, her hair straight and curly as black as the night sky, lips so fair pinkishly red, you'd imagine Happy Valentine's were on the tip of her tongue, every time. Her body build, perfect in normal proportion, neither her breast or rear end caught the eyes of perverted men. She wore glasses that sat under well prepped eyebrows and upon the bridge nose of an undiscovered superstar. But she couldn't be more ordinary. She did not own dazzling five inch heels or wear clothing priced so high it could feed a sick child for a month. Her style was simple and ever so perfect. When she went out with her girlfriend, she'd cover up just as any father would instruct his daughter to do before leaving home. She kept only three things in her clutch purse, a set of keys, a brown and yellow banana themed cell phone and a small notepad. She wrote this one night while at a bar in Arizona. It read, Today is June 4th, 2012. I decided to go to a bar with a few of my friends, Tiffany, Aaron, and Edie. They all dressed so nice. I was underdressed, certainly. The bar was cool. It played good music and variety, so no bummer there. The bathrooms, oh, the bathrooms were amazing. Even the floors were marble. Not that cheap carpeting like most rundown places. And the band. She never finished the rest of the bathroom entry, but it would have been surely something to read. OU was beautiful, not because she didn't wear overpriced clothes or drink and fool around with the juice head asking each woman about daddy issues. She was beautiful because she saw beauty outside of herself. To be like this and still be so damn beautiful, I gave her a standing ovation every time I saw her. But for the first few encounters, she didn't even know I existed. It hurt. Someone so down to earth didn't know that I lived here.